Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect. Last we left off, we were about to go and see what we could do to find this Thorian entity. Pretty much exactly what you might expect. Oh, hello. Alright, we just need to find this creature and determine what it... What it... Kila. What is that? That's a plant? That does not look like any plant I've ever seen. This may be... problematic. Yeah, huh? Uh. Tentacles. There just had to be tentacles. What... What is it doing? Ugh. What the? What? Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. Wait. As you did for Saren. You gave something to Saren. Something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. So, it was talking about the Geth attacking the colonists. And yeah, given that Saren was the one controlling the Geth, made a deal with the Thorian. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them. Now. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will feed the ground in a new growth. Yeah. Uh -huh. And in the meantime... Oh, did you hear that? Yeah... Ah, uh, stop that. Alright, so that's not what we need to attack. And this is going to be the fun part. Over here, Commander. Definitely something different in this area. And that's the warp ability effect. And what is she saying over here? Aha! That's right. Neural note. Oh, that didn't sound happy. Yeah. Clear. That's a start. We'll bring it down yet. <sighs> oh, goody! He can produce more of them. It... He... whatever. They are not active yet, okay? So, let's do a warp. Oh! Looks like Shepard has all the feels. Let's... Yeah, lift. Sorry, clone! Yeah. Perimeter secure. Weapon locker. Easy decryption, they say. No! 
Yes. Is this... Is there anything that's actually better than what I've got now? Well. Oh, no. No, the accuracy is better, but, uh... You know me, I'm all for brunt damage. Or blunt damage. Brunt? And there is bound to be another Asari commando at some... Wow. You are far too close for comfort there. Another sorry clone. Oh, and she hit me with one in the turn. We traded warps there. That was great. <laughs> I want to shoot the egg sacks. This one's fun. I have an idea. Hmm. Toxic incendiary. I only have two of them anyway. Let's see. Oh, he just wants to hug me! Nah. -uh. Yeah, another neural node. not sound like a happy Thorian. And as soon as I come into sight... Oh, she missed! This is not gonna end well for you. No. Oh god. Hey, I gained another level. That was actually pretty dang quick. Um... That's actually kind of more useful to me in the immediate future, so... Yay. And let's keep boosting that. There we go. So, contacts, Commander. Mm. Doing another quick save there. <sighs> Easy decryption, they say. They lie. No. Damn it. Yeah. Paranoia. Okay. So. Oh, there's... Um... Negative contacts, Commander. Really? Because they, they, they look like they're a bunch of Thorian creepers right there. Um, am I missing something here? Oh.
I'm not trying to talk. Yay. Ah! Oh, damn it! She threw a warp that hit me. Well, hope you like flying. What's well, around this way? There's nothing around this way. It is hurting, you say, huh? Well, that's good. So we're getting pretty close to ending this. Yep. Don't you even think about it. There she is. That didn't end well for her at all. It's not green. I'm free. I I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Do you really have to do this now? Really? Ah, uh, of course they have to do lawn work now. <sighs> Are you okay? Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine. Or I will be, in time. My name is Shiala. I serve, I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Huh. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. 
He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. That's awful. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of its existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. The Cypher? What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. You must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught. It simply exists. Well, there's gotta be some way. I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What just happened? Are you okay? Um, I'm not sure you can really discern that, Shepard, but... I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. You look pretty rough. We should get you back to the ship. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the Cypher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the Beacon. Tell me more about this ship Saren has. Sovereign is alien. I do not know how it was built or where it comes from. Its design does not match that of any known spacefaring species. It dwarfs any vessel in the Citadel or Alliance fleets. Its weapons are devastating. Its defenses virtually impenetrable. With it, Saren believes he is unstoppable. You said Saren uses it to manipulate his followers. The indoctrination. There is an energy about Sovereign. You feel drawn to the ship. It makes Saren's arguments more persuasive, more compelling. Spend enough time in Sovereign's presence, and you will lose yourself. There is no other way to explain it. That sounds like a very dangerous weapon to have in your hands. I want to know more about Benezia. Benezia was greatly respected among our people. A powerful biotic, even for an Asari. She was widely known as a teacher of philosophy and religion. 
She always sought the paths of peace and harmony. She joined with Saren because she hoped to turn him away from his path of destruction. Yeah, it didn't work so well, did it? Instead, she became one of his most powerful allies. As I mentioned before, Matriarch Benezia underestimated Saren. Be sure you do not make the same mistake. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic, and he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. So, being absorbed by the Thorian at least cleared your mind. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. You sound almost sad. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. 50,000 years, I'm huh? I'm grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. Such is the burden of being an Asari, I suppose. You have sympathy for lots of things. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries, I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. <sighs> well, what should I do with you? Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. Ah, oh, a very noble idea. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. Loading. I can't believe it. Jong says we'll have all the money we need to keep this place running. It's because of you, Shepard. I can't thank you enough. That's excellent. Ships are already on their way here with supplies. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. Now Exergeny will pour the money in. We'll be able to rebuild and then some. You won't recognize this place when we're done. Hmm. So we're all on the surface. No, no, are we still under... No, we're on the surface now. I fought so hard, but any thought of my own caused so much pain. Hmm. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. Okay, so I can always ask her more questions later. Farewell, Shiala. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. Hmm. And on that note, I'm out of time for this installment of Let's Play Mass Effect. That was the Thorian, and that was Ferris. Well, I hope to see you next time where we continue exploring the galaxy and dealing with the aftermath of this mission. Hope to see you then!